everyone, my name is Amiya Asin and today we're going to be making Ten Soup And today, our with us Hey, I'm Hadi, I'm a part-time assistant, full-time brother So Hadi, let's get started Okay Hadi, can you please have the chicken? Okay Okay, so now we're going to add the salt, a quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon black pepper. This is done. Ta -da! Now we're going to put it out in a bowl. Yes, it looks crispy. Yes, it's a little bit crispy. Good, good either. Now we're gonna make the broth. So how do you butter me? Oh. Butter the pan. This is awesome. Okay, so the butter has melted and basically we are making a roux. Okay, so it's a thickener which we put in the soup so that it will thicken. So how do you? We have a white roux, so we are not going to let the butter darken too much. It's still a bright yellow. So, Holly, can you pass the flour? Okay. After you have added the quantity of butter, you have added the quantity of flour. It gives an equal proportion. Always use a whisk. क्योंकि अगर हम लोग स्पून यूज़ करते हैं तो फिर वो काफी लंबी हो जाता है फिर वो बेसिस मिक्स नहीं होता विस के साथ इट्स इवनली ब्लेंडेड वही हाली सो नाउ दैट वी हैव अ नाइस क्रीमी रूम हम लोग अब आगे चीज़ें इसके अंदर डालेंगे ओके सो अभी इसके अंदर हमने अबाउट टू टू थ्री क्� Hadi, would you like to mix? Sure. Okay, Hadi. Now that the onion is translucent, let's add the chicken stock. This is roughly three cups of chicken stock. Together, we are going to add the roux we've made, the creamy roux. Okay. Maximum two. Okay. Now, इसके लिए Hadi, we're not going to use a we are going to use a whisk because like I said if we don't use a whisk it's going to be very unevenly mixed so we will have lumps and the ratio will be we want a nice creamy texture okay so to maintain it we are going to use a whisk so we have to use a whisk for perfect blending we have to use the whisk for equal ratio yes for perfect blending now we are going to add in milk Should we use a spoon or a whisk? Whisk! Whisk! This can be whisk. As you can see, it has turned all white. With the onions still showing. Okay, Hadi, I'm back and I brought our special gift potatoes. Oh, wait, I told you we I'm gonna add in. Potatoes. We're going to let it simmer, take it until they don't become soft. We don't want them too soft, like we don't want to make mashed potatoes, but we don't want them crunchy or crispy either. So, equal ratio. Yeah, perfect, you know, softness to it. Take it, so Hadi, we're going to cover it up now and we're going to leave it for 20 minutes. It's almost done. What's left is the spices. We need to add flavor to our broth. Hadi, yeah. you know, our potatoes are almost done. But first of all, we are going to dip our potatoes a little bit. So yeah. Half 
teaspoon of red chili powder, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a little bit of seasoning, spice seasoning, dried parsley. Please, would you do the honors of mixing for yes. us? Yeah, I would. Yeah. So satisfying. So satisfying. Now we're adding some chicken. The stove is off. It is ready. Now what's left is the plating. Yeah. You ready to plate, Hadi? Taste it. Ah. Let's get some plating. Hungry. So we're going to go plating. Yeah. We're going to start off by making some croutons. Croutons. But we're not going to go for the traditional cubes. We're going to go for a rectangle. Crouton. Wow, perfectly even. Perfectly even. But it's going to be a flat. Just a little bit. Is that worth it? Mm -hmm. We want to make sure it's evenly balanced. We don't want one side to be too thin, one side to be too thick. So, yeah. After that, we're going to pop it up in some oil. Pop it up in some oil. Mm -hmm. As you can see, these are becoming crisps. A nice golden brown color. Now that they're firm all over, crisp all around, we're gonna take them off the stove. Now that our croutons are ready, so first thing we're gonna take some crispy pepperoni slices and cut them up into small cubes. Take some mushrooms and cut them up into small cubes too. So now that our croutons are ready, let's start decorating them. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna place some pieces of mushrooms on them. So does the, do the mushroom give flavor to the croutons? Yeah, mushrooms are a popular vegetable and people enjoy eating mushrooms, especially with soups. Now we're going to add peas. some peas. Now we're going to add some olives. Now we're going to add some tomato puree. 